Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is our first online Zoom meeting. It feels a little weird. I'm always behind the camera, but now I'm in the spotlight. But um, we should be fine. Um, you know, my name is Bogdan Mihai. I'm a fine art photographer here in Houston. I'm a Romanian, so um, my strong accent sounds a little bit like Dracula, but this is what it is. I can't change it. Um, and first of all, I want to thank you all for coming to join us today. This is really important for us. Um, after all this um, year and what, three months of uh, COVID, you know, we kind of lose track with collectors, with friends. And um, John and I decided to, to do something uh, on an online platform. So this is how we come up with a Zoom uh, idea. And um, thank you for being here. John? Yeah, I just uh, I don't need to really introduce ourselves because everybody knows us. But uh, one of the things I was just talking to Bogdan about is uh, it happened again to me last night. It happens to me uh, occasionally that uh, I'll be in a gathering on Zoom or something and, and people will say, well, there's Greg. Hi, Greg. And people will say, oh, so you're just retired? And I'm like, no, I'm actually running a small business. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they think I'm just puttering around with a paintbrush. But uh, so it, it is a, a way for us to kind of say, we, we were doing a lot more with social media and that's just kind of promoting our art. Then I'm doing a blog and a blog and a podcast. But that's more about our business. And we really had no form, no, uh, no forum to talk about our, our art and which is actually how we make a living. <laughs> so uh, that's what the, the germ of this, of this podcast, of this kind of uh, uh, gathering was. Um, Bogdan, did you want to talk about any kind of news or what's going on? Yes, yeah, so there's, a, uh, there's not a lot going on, but right now we, have, uh, we are in two exhibitions. I am in two, John is in one. Uh, one is called Wabi Sabi, and it's held here at Silver Sea Studios, and um, it's uh, running, uh, it's ending on March 13, so you still have time to wander around the studio if you want to. Uh, I have uh, in this show, um, let's see, four pieces, and uh, let me see if I can um, pull up the um, presentation I to show you the images I have in there. I don't see a um, sc screen share, that's it. We're like the last people who learned how to use Zoom. Yes. Oh, I don't know how to use it at all. Well, I we will uh, by the end of this. Uh, as I said before, uh, I, know I have four pieces. Um, two of them are from the In Motion series and uh, one is called In Motion and the other one City Bars. And um, the other two, it's one more abstract piece. It's called Delta. It's a play of uh, um, two color paper, basically. And um, you know, paper. it's, yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I see it as a, a, a river going to a delta. And I said, uh, that's very interesting. And the other one, it's, uh, of course, me, a decayed picture of an arch uh, in Romania. And uh, I have one more piece mm -hmm. in uh, Halifax, Canada, the Viewpoint Gallery, as is, and it's part of the Inheritance um, series. And I'm very proud of this. I made it to Canada, finally. <laughs> Congratulations. You won, you won an award, right? Uh, yes, they 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 actually uh, um, name it the um, monthly winner, I think. Right, they did. They had twelve winners, and you you were the January. And um, those are your pieces, John. You want to talk about it? Yeah, I also have five pieces in the in the wabi sabi. Uh, to if you don't know what wabi sabi is, it's kind of that Japanese aesthetic movement that that says there's there's beauty in the imperfect and the Im impermanent and the flawed. And uh, so uh, my work was beautifully su suited for that kind of show. Uh, here we have Tashi, uh, 
it's a portrait of an imaginary person who looks hauntingly like um, either Barry Manilow or Rod Stewart. Um, <laughs> one of the things about uh, Tashi is I actually had my brush slip and he's got a, uh, he's got a scar on his cheek. And I, I saw it and I said, yeah, that, 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 that's good. That's why we saw it. Uh, Summer Garden, pure abstract expressionist kind of piece. Uh, Hope is also uh, abstract. It's, it's uh, very, very textured. There's lots and lots of layers underneath. In fact, I think that's an old pair of jeans under there. Um, and uh, is there another slide? Yes. Or just three? Ah, Cloudburst, also very, very textured. Uh, and then Papa's Fence, I actually did this as a commission for my dad, who recently passed. And uh, my dad said it looked like a uh, crow that flew into an electric fence. Uh, so I call it Papa's Fence. <laughs> and so all of these are on display until the middle of the month. And then we'll have another tenant show coming up after that. So if you haven't been by the studio, this would be a great time. Fabulous. So um, in these Zoom meetings, uh, what we want to achieve is to feature a piece of, or max four pieces of artworks uh, per show. And um, on today's show, I decided to do, to feature one from the Inheritance series, is that called uh, The Passage, and um, two photographs from um, the Athletes series. But um, before I, I talk about the um, passage, uh, I, wanna, I wanna briefly uh, tell you something about the Inheritance series. Um, that's it's a, um, a collection of 28 photographs, and I'm gonna pull the, um, the slideshow in a second, that depicts um, the beautiful decay of um, uh, uh, um, old spa in um, West Romania. Actually, that particular uh, spa was was built um, at the end of 1800 by the Austro-Hungarians, and uh, yep. and he was um, it ran all the way to the 90s, and uh, the photographs are taken. Um, mainly of this, um, uh, what we call Neptune Villa. And uh, for me, this was very important because I grew up with, uh, with this idea that uh, Herculane, which is this place, um, it's one of our jewel, um, a country jewel. And, uh, when I, 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 we never, as, a, as kids, we never been able to, to see it because it was, you know, very, not very easy. And uh, when I got the chance, when I got older and I got the chance to, to see it, it was already in collapse. But when I got there, you know, I, I, even in collapse, I, I found it very beautiful. It, it decayed beautiful. Um, yes, it's a pity that it's in ruin, but it's it's gorgeous in itself and um how is it did it started actually you know I, I took photographs of it probably 10 years ago and uh, in 2019 spring summer i started to uh, share some photographs on instagram and these students from romania got in touch with me asking if they can share the photographs and um, i certainly said yes, and we started a conversation. They told me that they were in charge of um, uh, conservation and uh, ultimately reconstruction of the place. These were architectural students, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And um, then they told me that in, by the, that end of the year, they would like to literally to close down the building and, and start the conservation. And, um, Though I, I wasn't prepared to make a trip to Romania, I was talking with John. I said, how do you feel about this? I mean, um, if I'm not going to go now to photograph it, um, I, I won't have another chance. So 
this way I made it by September. I made it to Romania and uh, I went straight to this place and photograph and document every corner of it. And um, it was this moment when I realized that actually this place can make a beautiful photographic series. So this was kind of my, my um, um, tribute um, to this site. And then uh, two weeks after I returned from this trip, um, I found out that the building was officially closed and it was cleaned up of uh, all unsecured elements. All the um, um, details were boarded up, um, make sure the winter don't go uh, again in the, in the building and destroy even more um, architectural uh, elements. So, um, but you know, uh, at the end of this, um, what I want is, yes, it's a crumbling building. And um, yes, it was affected by corruption and bad politics. But what I want the viewers and collectors to look at is the, the, the romanticism that uh, uh, coming out of it, you know, the romanticism, the romanticism that comes out of it. Um, there are so many hidden stories in the walls, and um, so much mystery coming out of every corner. Um, every every one of us can, um, you know, look at them and create their own story, imagine their own own um, fictional scenes, if you want. Uh, and, you know, beside this, if you look through um, history of paintings and even early uh, studio uh, photographs, uh, there is an element of crumbling architecture everywhere. You know, there are other, other covers with um, wild vegetation or there is this... Um, crumbling uh, architecture painted on a backdrop. It's, it's, I think, because it has this softness, romanticism, uh, mystery to, to everything. Now, Bogdan, this is, uh, you know, the, the spa, was a, it's a thermal bath. It's been there since, what, the time of the Romans. And, right. it, but there, around, all, it, around it, there's a whole community of architecture that would support that, that spa during those ages. Right. Um, so they have um, casinos. Actually, this is a, what we see right now on the screen. It's a part of a, a side of a casino, the entrance. And um, they're all crumbling there. I got, I got in the casino um, and it was a, an absolute um, disaster. I mean, the, the, the rain got and uh, destroyed all this, um, how do you call this in English here? Yeah, um, painting um, on the frescoes. wall. Frescoes. Frescoes. Um, they have um, handcrafted windows. They're all crumbling as well. Uh, so I, Bogdan, I don't we're believe- gonna to, Bogdan, we're gonna have to worry about the time. It's already 16 minutes in and we need to get to your other collection. All right, and uh, I'm right there. And this is the picture I wanted to um, feature today. And this is the passage. And um, it's the, of course, pink side of the building. Each, each corridor and each hallway has its own colors based on their um, benefits of the waters. Mm -hmm. So any questions at this point? I don't want, I don't want to move forward if, if you guys have any questions at all. What's the status of that, Bogdan? You said in 2019 they started the conservation? Yes, in 2019 yeah. they started the conservation. Uh, I don't believe it, it is the same condition, except everything is covered with tarps and um, sheets of metal all around so to keep the water and the snow outside. So any, any walls that were compromised were, were bulldozed down? Any roofs that were open were she uh, you know, sheet metaled over? Uh, it's just basically been all wrapped up and packaged. Uh, there's no there's no funding to do any ref, uh, restoration work right now. 
And um, I, 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 as I said, if I would have waited two weeks, there was nothing to photograph anymore because right. the building looks like any other construction site right now. Well, Mary and I certainly enjoyed when it was on, when you had it on display, enjoyed your picture, your photographs then. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Now it's, uh, uh, for those Martin, who don't know it, it's, it's right there behind me. It's, it's a very large print. Ryan. Sorry, um, when you took those photographs, is, did you only use natural light or did you also have some artificial light? No, I had to travel. Uh, I don't usually use um, artificial light, um, but on these particular ones, I, um, I used natural light. It's, it was very dark inside and uh, some, uh, uh, there are some instances or either I left the camera on a long exposure so I can capture all kinds of um, lighting uh, to light up the corners, or I use um, a stack of various exposed um, shots and then I put them together in Photoshop so that I can have um, lighting in every corner of the image. Cool, thank you. You wanna look at your uh, athlete series? Yes, so the next series, the next photographs I wanna talk about is um, Olympian, and uh, touch, they are from a collection called Athletes that, of course, it's me, depicts the decay of two beautiful statues in my hometown. And um, let's see, they are in number five. Can you guys see it? Mm -hmm. and, these, and these are, uh, you know, um, uh, 16 photographs and um, what am I, um, I lost my, my, uh, my thought. Um, they are uh, bronze statues. Uh, they are um, uh, built by a um, local sculpture that, uh, you know, was born in 1902, dead in 1966. And um, some friends of his discovered these statues in 75 in his backyard. And they decided to do something with them, to give them to the city, to you know, give them a life. And uh, the city didn't really want them, and they ended up somehow in front of our little stadium. Uh, and both of them, the statue and the stadium, are in um, total collapse today. Um, however, um, politics have changed last year, and they're trying to move things forward. And uh, and they um, repaint the statues in an absolute, in an absolute horrible, glossy black. It looked like patent leather now. Oh, no. Again, again, I was so lucky. Bronze? Yeah, they repainted. They painted the pet statues with a glossy black off of bronze. Yes. <laughs> again, and I think they just filled in the cracks with you know bondo or something. Bondo. <laughs> works for a car why does it work for statues yeah i was so lucky to to be photographing this when i did because i wouldn't have been able to to grab this today and um this is everything i have for today uh, the photographs are 11 those one uh designed for 11 or 14 inch um i envision to be printed on uh, luster paper which is um um, a granulated semi shine um, paper. I have I have two prints right here, and I can show it to you. Uh, they're really beautiful. Everything looks better printed. Yes, and right. it's uh, the granulation actually of the paper. Um, it looks like a pearl. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. It's very hard to see, but well done. We're over. So yeah, we are over, so uh, we'll move to the other, my bits, because you got to have time for me. Yes. So um, if you guys have any questions about these uh, pieces, the last two pieces, um, you can ask me now. Greg? <laughs> I, I want to go to John, then, because I can Perfect. Hear John, it's your turn now. Yeah. Um, I've got only two pieces to show. I, I'm not, I, mine don't have the stories, the imagine, uh, um, amazing stories at Bogdanston. Uh, but this one is called uh, Firestorm. It's a series of five paintings that I did, abstract, expressionist, 
I really love the splatter paint. Uh, what I particularly like about doing, do you have a slide of that? One? Yes. What I really like about working in abstraction is that I'm not in control completely of the painting. The painting kind of does what it does. It's almost like writing a poem. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the fact that I am expressing myself while I'm painting and when it comes out, it's another story. So, I mean, everyone will find their own story in that. In fact, if this is in fact called a firestorm, I suppose that might be a white marshmallow. But um, the, the thing that I like most about it is that kind of wabi-sabi concept that it will take on its own, its own story. Uh, everything looks better framed, doesn't it? Uh, the other piece that I wanted to share with you is a, a smaller piece on paper. And uh, this one is called Manawai. And uh, okay, yeah, you've got it there. And Manawai is a uh, nine by 12 on paper. It's a series that I uh, did, a, I called it, named them after the Cook Islands because they were the right number of them. Uh, and they all, they all kind of look like maps to me. And, and this particular one, uh, is called Manuai, one of the, one of the uh, islands in the archipelago. It's, they're also off of New Zealand, which kind of gives a nod back to the fact that Bogdan and I lived in New Zealand for two years. Uh, what, what is different about this particular series is it's still abstract expressionist, but I do a lot of, of uh, kind of detail work afterwards. And so I have the dots and the gold and the... the uh, the kind of embellishments that I do on top of the original painting. And I do that as a theme with me that uh, you'll see in a lot of my work, this, these kinds of symbolic uh, embellishments. So I wanted to share those two. Uh, the, it, it's amazing. I don't know if you've got me back on screen. Well done. The difference that, I mean, here, here are one of them in the series on paper. And then when you frame it, it just comes, it, it takes on a completely different look. Uh, and then in fact, I have one here. It all is three dimensional before in the frame. Is that right, John? Way. And it just, it takes on a complete different look yeah. depending upon how you, how you display it. I'm sorry, what was that, Greg? I said it looks almost more three dimensional in the frame. I'm not sure why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's the way that series turned out. It has a lot of shadowing going on in there. But those are the ones I wanted to share. I'm trying to keep a, an eye on the, we have 25 minutes, 26 minutes. But uh, one of the things that uh, we wanted to do is, uh, is, is do this weekly and actually start to kind of feature some of the, the works that, that we're either sitting un, unnoticed or uh, that are, are new work. And so we're going to be we're going to be meeting every Thursday at this time. Um, I know we invited, four, we invited 400 people. <laughs> yeah, and I have. But only yesterday. But we, only yesterday. Yeah. We feel very privileged then to be the the, four, the best four, showed up. The one percent. We're the one percenters, yeah. I guess, guys. <laughs> we appreciate exactly. we appreciate every one of you, and I know it's a small crowd, but it will grow, and we know this. Um, or it should be. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? What does it no. matter? It's just, it just as long as you have good conversation and people learn. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Deborah is right next door. She's also a painter. And we have um, two minutes left before we release everybody from this. So you cut me off too early. <laughs> I did. I should have. Uh, you would not have stopped until now. <laughs> Well, because you have such a riveting story with all of that. And, and it's a lot, it's a lot to say, um, because like inheritance, for example, it, it does look like crumbling architecture and um, there's a lot of people interested in that section, but it's, it's more than that. You know, it's that um, mystery, um, 
the stories that you can make up for yourself when you yeah, have a feature you. like this. You feature decaying things in a lot of your work. Yes, it was. You've got the series called Decay. You just sold two of those yesterday. Right. And um, that was amazing. Uh, I had a lady coming here today, uh, um, uh, two weeks ago, actually. Um, she came in the studio before. I'm getting a message here. Um, and she knew exactly what she wanted. I did not remember her when she came. And uh, she said, I want this, this large. Can you do it? Yes. And she got it. And she sent me pictures last night about how they look like. And you are so impressed and so in love with the work. That's what you need. Well, guys, it is now 11.30. So I don't want to keep anybody, but uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We will get better and better at this. <laughs> So sorry for the technological bits and the, the absolute nerves, but uh, I'll, we're going to give you back your lives and we will see each of you very soon, I hope.